You can be an analyst in the federal government, and you could have spent years working as a banker, insurance agent, mechanic, or a soldier in the army. And you may or may not know this, but you probably have the required experience to be an analyst in the government. So why would you want to be an analyst? Well, pretty good salary, stability, benefits, and it's one of the most common jobs in the federal government. These jobs range from budget analyst, management analyst, program analyst, resource analyst, to a procurement analyst. Now, let's focus in on the pay range of an analyst. It starts off around $30,000 a year as a GS-5. Okay, so what does it take to get hired as a GS-5? We can see here that you do not need any college. You only need three years of general experience. Now, what many people do not know is this general experience could have been gained at Walmart or Target or even volunteering. The experience doesn't have to be paid experience. It is basically any experience. Have you looked at a document or spreadsheet to pull information out and then explained it to someone else? That is what is at the core of what an analyst is. When you analyze, you are revealing information through examination. Now, if you're considering getting a federal government job, then I want you to check out the link in the description below, where you will find my course that will take you step by step to strengthen your resume, pass your interview, and get a government job. People don't realize that becoming an analyst is one of the best ways to get into the federal government. So many people come up to me and say, I wanna work in physical security. I wanna work in cybersecurity. I wanna do project management. I understand that you want the niche, whatever, whatever it is, it could be special agent. I wanna be a special agent at the CIA. I understand all that, but what you need to do is take a step back and see how you can get inside of the federal government as an employee. And once you're inside, then you can pivot and you can target different type of careers. Once you're in there and you're earning a salary and you're a known quantity, then you can actually do that to get the job that you really want. Now let's look at the top earning potential for government analysts. This can fluctuate a lot depending on where you're living because the salary is tied directly to the cost of living of the city you're residing in. We can see here as a GS-15 analyst in California, you could be pulling in $176,000 a year. And for this position, you don't even need to be in the office. As you can see, it is a 100% remote work position. Now, to get a GS-15 position in the government, usually you would have to be in the government already, unless you're working at a private company and you're an executive. Outside of that, they want people that have 12 months of GS-14 equivalent experience before you can apply for the GS-15. But let's say you're a GS-13. 13 to 15, really, there's just 24 months in between those two if you're trying to advance the quickest way possible. And this doesn't consider the annual bonuses and performance bonuses that you could receive on top of that. You can start on your journey today. You do not need an advanced degree to be a GS-14 or a GS-15. In fact, I know some GS-14s around here and even a couple of 15s that don't have a degree at all. Overall, government hiring has made a shift towards focusing less on the degree and more on the experience. The first step into preparing your resume for one of these type positions is opening up the OPM Job Series Handbook. And I would focus on the 0301 and the 0343 Job Series first. This will allow you to find the right keywords in order to pull them out and plug them into your resume. Personally, I spent years in the Army as a combat engineer in a career that involved taking blasting caps and shoving them inside explosives, putting them inside a blocks of C4. I didn't have that much office experience, but when I was getting ready to leave the military, I targeted analyst positions. I've been working in an analyst position for over three years, and I see people that work around me, individuals that come from all sectors, including retail, banking, military, insurance companies, and sales. And the work an analyst does varies greatly depending on the agency and office. But do not get intimidated. People will be there to assist and help you learn and understand the processes and functions of the office. And the good news today is that there are over 1,000 analyst positions that are available that you can apply to right now. All it takes is a strong federal resume and the willpower to keep applying. Now, if you've applied to different analyst positions and now the interviews are starting to come in, you need to prepare for that interview. 
And if you want to know some of the questions that are asked to you when you are interviewing for an analyst position, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.